Hello there, and this one is called Relationship Hell. Nothing is as it seems. So relationships give us the greatest joys and the greatest challenges and sufferings as human beings. And it's such an important thing to be able to relate to people. And it's very important to learn to be honest. And there's all sorts of things that you can learn. Lots of people make films about relationships. But I want to talk about a particular aspect of relationships, which is to do with when you get triggered. My main learning about relationships is there comes a point when the two of you become so triggered by each other's past stuff that it can feel like you're in a relationship hell. So that's actually the title of this one. This one is called Relationship Hell. So it's when you reach the point that every time you see the person and one of you opens your mouth and the other one opens your mouth and the next thing you know it's developed in some kind of an argument, some kind of discord, some kind of a dis-ease between the two of you. Very, very common. We've all been through this. So this is what I would say to you. When you're going through relationship hell, that is the time to feel silently pleased. You can keep this feeling of pleasure to yourself if you like, or you can share it with your partner, but just be aware that something miraculous is happening. It helps enormously to be aware of what John Gray wrote in his book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, which is that when that has happened, when you've got to that point of it's just hell, and there's constant disagreements and discords and so on. What is happening is you've reached the point where you are doing major work to clear all your early life traumas and challenges. That's actually what's going on for you at that time. And if you can remember this, that when you have a, a disagreement or an anger or whatever it is, an upset, please remember that 90% of what's going on is actually not your partner. It's you having stuff from the past coming up to be healed. And if you ever reach the point where you feel like, my partner's crazy, this is also a really good indicator if you feel like that. Oh, my partner, my partner's just crazy. That's great if you feel like that, because that means you're getting into the root cause of the major issues in yourself and in your own healing journey. So that person that you've chosen to be with, this is a time to love them even more, appreciate them even more, if what you're going through you could label as relationship hell, because the two of you are on a healing journey. And I'm saying this not as some academic thing, but as a person who's really experiencing this at the moment in my daily life with my partner. And we're having incredible struggles. And I keep reminding myself, and we keep reminding each other, that because it feels so awful at the moment, that means we're doing major healing work, so this is a reason to feel great confidence and optimism in the relationship, because we dare to actually trust each other to be able to experience these things together, and to know that all that we're going through is actually healing. And what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be focusing on particular things that can help this process. But this is my main realization because I've been in this place many times with other relationships. And what happens 90% of the time, my partner caves in and ends a relationship abruptly. So here's a really big key. If you feel like you want to end the relationship abruptly, please stay in the relationship and hang in there because something magical is happening between the two of you. And there are all sorts of people that can help you discovering ways to heal yourselves and to heal each other. But that's a fundamental realization that I ask you to grab hold of. If it feels like hell, it means you are at breakthrough point. And a breakdown is what comes before a breakthrough. It's always like this. First you get the breakdown, then you get the breakthrough. So if it feels like hell, that's a breakdown. If you trust the process and stay with it, you will break through into the true magic which happens to all those that stay the course. So we're going to stick with it. Thank you very much.